This video is going to show you how to add music from PDF files into the new Power Music app. I'm going to talk you through this just showing you some screenshots and we'll be using Dropbox as a way of getting the PDF files into the iPad. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is you have to have a Dropbox account or some similar account you can access from within your iPad. Put your PDF files into a suitable place in your Dropbox and once you've done that then launch Dropbox. Here I've got five PDF files and I've chosen the one sheetmusic.pdf and I can see it previewed there on the right hand side. I'm going to tap on the little icon up the top there and when I tap on that one of the options is to open in. I'll tap on open in and there's Power Music as an option to open it in Power Music so I'll tap on open it in Power Music and that will now make it available to the Power Music app. So now we want to launch the Power Music app, not the Reader app, the full app, Power Music. And when we do that, and we look at the main menu, you'll see there the new song menu item. You tap on that. And the first thing you have to do is to give your song a title. You can also fill in the other information, first line, key, tempo, authors, categories, and copyright and performance notes. But the minimum you do is give it a title. So click the plus, type in the title, tap OK. And there's the song title in there. You can give it multiple titles so you can find it by different titles. Now tap on the Sheet Music tab. And we want to add from PDF, so tap on PDF. And now we want to choose the files we want to put in. So here are the PDFs that I've uh, downloaded into uh, Power Music. So I can tap on Sheet Music PDF and do that. I can see here the preview of all the pages, and this is quite a big document, there's 214 pages on it. So I'm just going to scroll down to the pages I want, and then just tap the pages I want to put in for this particular song. And this song has got three pages, so I just tap on the three pages and they go into the area at the bottom of the screen. Once I've done that, I tap on Done, and I can now edit this sheet music. Or I can just accept it the way it is. I'm going to tap on edit and show you what facilities there are. Once you do that you're given three little icons down the bottom, adjustment, rotate and crop. Uh, if you put it in at an angle you can fine rotate it or you can rotate it by 90 or 180 degrees. The crop tool allows you to crop the white space round about it and also if you want to display this larger on screen you can crop it down to a single stave and split a song into multiple staves so that when you display it in landscape you can display it quite large for people who have got poor eyesight. I'll just tap OK for that. And then I've gone to the uh, enhancements. Here we can change the brightness and contrast and saturation. Now these uh, stave lines are a bit faint on here, so if I increase the contrast like that, I can see the stave lines much clearer, so I'll just do that. Once I've finished doing any adjustments to it, I tap the OK and then the Done to save it. And I'm back in Power Music and there's my new song. And if I tap on that, I'll be able to display it on screen and perform from that. So that's how you can put in music from a PDF file into the new Power Music app.